<laughs> Damn coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. Don't sound better. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. Hmm. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Yeah, drink some water. Is that alcohol or is that water? I think it's Did water. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Wait, what? Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two, a boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Very talky talky today, aren't you? Everyone's a little bit talky talky, yeah? Okay, uh, do I wanna do the smoke thing? This thing's gonna kill me, man. This shit's not good for me. Yeah, this shit's not good for your cough either.
Alright, I guess time to get out of here. Time to go eat. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Are you okay? Uh. Alright. This place does look kind of peaceful, doesn't it? Alright. What do we have here? Uh, nah, I don't think I want to look at that. Okay. We're good, we're good. And, uh, bam! Welcome back to Metro Exodus! Uh, how do I get out of here? What do you know? <laughs> Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. But well, what's happening? What's happening, guys? Interesting, interesting. You have lots of hidden talents. Gotcha. <laughs> I have kept silent for too long, but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about Stepan. Artyom, sit somewhere he nearby. Incredibly disgusting. Okay. Nice and kind hearted. Yes, no, indeed. I, as a misanthrope of note, am out What did I miss? You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry, you'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Half a year already, huh? Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <laughs> and much deliberation, yeah, we've found bad. a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations! Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. <laughs> Step on. Gotcha. Oh, you seem to be coughing a lot. Oh, Prince! Step on, Katya. Repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you, I take you to, to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. <laughs> and vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to hold better, you from this day for worse, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness, in sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death, 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 death do us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Oh shit, that's not good. Gorka! Oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please! Don't this can't be her. good. Damn! I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau. When they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said How I don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artyom, 
A few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. Jeez, you don't look fine. God. That's not good. Oh, wait. I don't know Face about clean this. Now. What? The old man is furious. Oh, Artyom's getting chewed out today. What? Me? It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Jeez. Yes. In any case, Katya will calm the Colonel down. You shall worry either. She'll fix you in no time at all. So, uh, son, care to tell me what do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, long. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also. We're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Ah, oh, Anna coughed out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. Oh my god, That's dude. Sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. Oh. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Okay. Uh, awkward silence. Hello. I'm Artyom. Right. Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please. Find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. And one more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything it. out before we arrive. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Artyom, we'll look after Anna so, here. And she's better already, already anyway. Go! The old man is waiting. Now here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna. In case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about. So we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yolentel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Hola! To you, a toast. So, so about us. The stuff is strong. Yes, yes, my great. <laughs> Play a song now. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. 
Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to go? Do I talk to the map or something? Yeah, let's go. Yes, I must say. Oh, this is a nice place. Yeah. Take care for what makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. <laughs> that would be nice, huh? Damn, oh. This is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. There's a radio here. I see. This one requires some repairs. But this will hold us back. But regardless, the plan stands. We're on the boat at the dam. How is this general situation there? Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it. Oh. Over. Doesn't sound good at all. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Sure I do. Look at that church for you. Oh boy. Child at the forest, huh? your friend but I can see you're two are not bandits I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid you gotta run now just stay out of sight and you'll be fine catch you later okay it's gonna leave me here oh dear Right, so I guess I don't got my stuff, huh? Alright, we'll go this way then. What's with this house? Toys? The kids here. Yeah? Um. Okay. Why would they give me a crossbow? Why would I need a crossbow?
Ach, Gott, der Spider. What? Did I just set off a trap? <laughs> just like I did. New note. Bandit. This territory belongs to Brazilian of the coast. Ay ay ay. So there are people here. Okay, let's see. Where are we supposed to go? Uh, Alright. Just up the road, I guess. We'll go check it out. Here's something over there, though. Check that out. Wolf, maybe that was a whiff, whiffed it, totally whiffed it. There we go. Yikes. Okay, so these guys, whoo, really did a number on them, huh? Could have gone to him earlier, but he's a bandit, so don't really care. Alright, guess we go this way. Oh, don't fall off now. What's this now? This is all very weird. It's a nice change of scenery, though. Appreciate that. But, uh, all feels a little bit weird now. Rabbits, okay. Some arrows in here. Yeah, I think this is a good route to take rather than going by the main road. And as I say that, immediately we are brought back to the main road. God damn it. Like some sort of school, wasn't it? It's a little bit um sad, huh? Some sort of school. Nice view, though. Got a nice view of everything. Do we go in the school? I feel like I've seen this before. Have I not? Actually, probably not. Probably haven't seen this before. Is this gas mask? Alright, uh, something not so nice happened here, I guess. Oh. I heard people. I heard somebody talking. Definitely heard somebody talking. Maybe outside. Avast! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Hi! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! I Be a boot dog and get lost! <laughs> okay. Alright, what's the, um... Looks like Aloe... Aloe Shaw. Uh... Without alerting the locals. Okay. Uh, we'll see how we can do that. At least they're gone. I'm guessing we go this way. Oh, 
Poison. Oh, treasure chest. Oof. This is rough. Oh, it's this way, isn't it? going on over here but we do appear to be creeping Look, up on there I've been thinking about asking you all this time all this pirate stuff the corpses mm. on the post do you guys really think the teacher wanted this the teacher wanted us to defend ourselves well none of this stuff helps the bandits have been seen in the village again plus our guys caught a drifter today this just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really. I only see one guy. Where is the other one? There's one guy left. That means I got seen, isn't it? Where? Oh, he's in here. see me in here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get him. Shit. That's not good. That is not good. They might have seen me. They might have seen me. I'm gonna hide behind this bus. They definitely saw me. They definitely saw me doing that. Oh, nuts. That's not good. If I stay quiet for long enough, will they go away? What? Oh, did they see me? That's bad. Ow. Ow. Guys, one of them is down! Uh, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Cover me! I'm reloading! Guys, the intruders hit that pass! There you are! Knock them all the hell out. I see that the dude done. He's down there. Uh, this is another way I could come in. Through here. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, uh, oh, what's this? We just take it. Ah, night vision scope, huh? Okay, okay. Might not be so useful in the day. Where are you? Over there. What? <laughs> Get that window! 
Where? Where are you? Fight me. They're over there. Let me go up. There's probably a guy up here, right? kill any of them one of you kind of saved my life so but you guys are forcing my hand yo why don't you guys just surrender man just surrender yikes 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 yikes, yikes. guys uh, so annoying come come face me oh yeah Martium oh they surrendered okay good boy if you surrender I will do anything to you guys you'll be fine Hand over all of your arrows. Is that the only form of fire weapons they have? Uh, fire arms, <laughs> fire weapons. I wonder, I really do. Could have snuck through here. Well, that's moot now. Okay, anyway. Oh, this guy. Ouch, I got pinned to the wall. I guess we're good here. Um, damn. Uh, yep. That's all the time we have for this episode. Um, looks like the goal is kind of a little bit further down. I guess we'll get that in the next episode. Next. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I guess that's it for this episode. Um, I guess we'll get it in the next one. Uh, goal is a little bit further down, but uh, we'll put that in the next episode, huh? And, uh, yeah. Nice view. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and you want to see more Metro Exodus. It's a very fun game. Enjoy playing it a lot. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.